Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to answer a question that get asked very, very often on my channel. Uh, I've answered it many times, but it's usually part of a long uh, video series and it people probably couldn't find it. So today I'm going to answer that question separately in this video. That way, uh, if someone has a question about it again, I'll just link them to the video. So the question is regarding changing or refilling hydroponic nutrients in a cracky setup. So uh, before you get into uh, changing the nutrients, uh, one, the one thing that is most important is uh, for you to recognize the type of root systems uh, that the non-circulating hydroponic or cracky hydroponic will produce. So I will show you. So when grown in uh, these non-circulating uh, system, uh, there are two types of roots. Uh, there's water roots, which is the roots that are submerged under the nutrients, and there's air roots. Those are the ones that are above uh, the uh, the water level. And the way to tell is that the water roots uh, is always wet, of course, it's always submerged underwater, and it's very straight and smooth. Uh, the air roots, you can see, some, uh, sometimes when you have a lot of roots, uh, you will see little fuzzes on them, and those are the air roots, and that's what helps the plant take uh, in oxygen to breathe without, uh, you know, oxygen being circulating to it. And so um, when refilling or changing, uh, you always want to refill to the same level that the container was before you made the change. You see, so when I lift it up, you see the water level right there? And if I need to change it, uh, I would need to put back the same amount or a little bit more, just an inch above. Because what happened is if you fill it all the way back to the, uh, the top right here, then it'll cover the air roots. And now there's the plants have nothing to breathe with. And so that will drown the plant and it will die. So um, a, a trick for, for this type of system is uh, um, always constantly check to see where the level is and refill it often because sometimes the plant drink too much and then if you wait too long, the water level will drop all the way down there. And what happens is the air root will start to develop all the way down into uh, you know where the level is and then there's only a little bit of the water roots left and so what happens now is if you refill you have to refill just slightly above which is not going to be enough uh, you know nutrients for the plants to uh, use for a while and so using a large system where, uh, would help um, but if you're using uh, five gallons you you may have to refill very often so that is the only small issue so um basically to summarize when you refill you want to refill back to the original line right there where the you know where you you see before you you change and um also do not cover the uh, the air roots because if you cover the air roots then the plant has nothing to use for breathing and it would drown and that's how uh, the plant would die so yeah that's as easy as that so that's pretty much it it's pretty simple don't cover the air roots and the plants uh, your plants will be fine thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe